So it seems like an eternity ago, but a few months back we did a video talking about our plans for 2020. And some of those plans were to bring back some of our old project cars, including Gotta Have It Race and Project Crimstang, my 1996 Mustang Cobra. Unfortunately, like a lot of plans for 2020 though, COVID had other ideas. Yes. So if you're new to the channel and might not remember, Crimpstang belonged to my friend Andrew Bauer, known by his nickname Crimpit, thanks to his father's employment with Tasty Baking Company and their famous snack cake, the Crimpit. Now the car became known as Crimpstang, and I decided in 2016 to turn it into an NMRA factory stock race car, because that was something that Crimpit and I always wanted to do. So we did a whole video series on this car, we coyote swapped it, got a Liberty TKO in it, a spool, you know, basically we built it into a full-blown race car, ran the entire 2017 NMRA season with it, and a couple of events in 2018 as well. After that, a lot of the rules changed in factory stock, they were going faster and faster, and as much as I enjoyed the class, I decided it really wasn't what I wanted to do with the car. Like, where do we go to next? You know, what do we do with this car? It's got huge sentimental value, it's never gonna leave my possession, but I want to enjoy it. I needed a new plan. So 2020, the goal was Hot Rod Drag Week. So what we did, we obviously installed the CJ intake, which would make the car no longer legal for factory stock. We did the gauge cluster. We had a lot of videos planned to take this from an NMRA factory stock race car to a Hot Rod Drag Week car. Now, if you're not familiar with Drag Week, basically it's five passes at four different tracks, but you have to drive from track to track. So basically the goal was to make this into a street car but still also keep a lot of the race car routes and make it as fast as possible. So that was our plan for 2020. Now, unfortunately, like I said, COVID had other ideas. And a couple days ago, Drag Week was canceled for 2020. So there is no Drag Week. So kind of left us with, kind of we're lost at this point. You know, what do we do with Crimstein now? You know, I still want to do Drag Week and I still plan on doing it in 2021. Hopefully it stays in the Midwest or East Coast and it's somewhere close. But now I get to decide what do I do with the car? You know, we did a CJ intake. We're planning to take it down to our friends at Rev Auto again, put it on the rollers, maybe even do some cams, try to make it an NA monster. But now that I have some more time, kind of debating. It's like, do I stick with the naturally aspirated setup? Or maybe do we do a power adder? Do we do a, a Vortec or a Roush blower? Or do something to really, really turn this car up. So if you had a car like this and you were running Drag Week, what would you do with it? So the class I'm currently looking at is the street race, small block, naturally aspirated category. Now the killers in that class run the high nines. We know Crimp Sang is just not gonna go that fast. But if we could actually go to drag week and just average in the tens, that would be a huge win. Now in factory stock trim, this car went as fast as 1050s and that was at 3,300 pounds. Now for our drag week, I can take 100 pounds out of the car, but I can also do the Cobra Jet intake, I can do cams, I can make more horsepower than I was making before, which again should have the car solidly in a 10 second range. My decision right now though, is it do I, I've got a lot of time to get ready for drag week. You know, we were trying to rush it this year to get ready for September. Now I have a year, I can do lots of street miles. I actually bought a trailer for this car. I have a tow hitch for it now. All the things I'm gonna need for drag week to prepare it. But the thing I'm thinking of now is that, okay, this car, again, factory stock legal went 1050s at 3,300 pounds. Now I'm about 20 pounds lighter than when I raced factory stock, this car has 500 pounds of ballast in it. So now I'm like thinking, do I really hit drag week right now and start testing? Or do I pull the 500 pounds out of it, basically get this thing set on kill, put some corn, whatever, and see if it'll go nines on motor. I mean, I think it can do it. Now again, this would be like an outlaw trim. It won't be legal. It would be fun to see if it would actually go that fast before I start prepping for drag week. Like I said, we have a lot to figure out with Project Crimstang. And yeah, what would you like to see us do with it? Do you think we should try to go, should we go nines on motors, see if it'll actually do that? Or should we start prepping for drag week now that we've got a lot more time to get the car ready and maybe even add some more power under the hood? Now, either way, whatever you want to see us do, I can guarantee you're going to see more of this car here at CJ's and keep it here for updates on Crimstang, the next chapter.